It's just gone mouldy inside. The insurance has finally run out. All new bushing. Blew its head gasket. Brakes all round. Rear anti-roll bar drop links. Coolant hoses kept popping off. Head gasket. Head gasket. Head gasket. What's going on, guys? Now, this is only going to be a quick one, but there's something that I need your help with. I've been making these videos for a little while now, but I think it's finally time we address the elephant in the room or rather the elephant on the driveway. My battered old Honda has been creeping around in the background of these videos pretty much since I started this channel and I'm kind of at a loss with what to do with it. So I'm going to bring you up to speed with exactly what it's doing here, what's wrong with it, why it's not moved probably. I think it's probably been there since you first ever saw anything on this channel, I think. But nevertheless, let's tell you the story behind this thing and you know what I want you guys to help me with. So this is a 1.6 Honda Civic and for a long time it was supposed to be my daily. At one point it was my only car and then I bought the Fiesta as a project. But soon after I bought the Fiesta, the Honda blew its head gasket. I did film a couple of videos doing the brake lines on this thing and a couple of other little jobs as well. But that was before you even saw anything on the Fiesta. That was before I even put out my first video. I wasn't really happy with the, the quality of the content, so I just never never edited those videos and I never let you guys see that. And then obviously we had the head gasket problem and it's just been sat here ever since. Now at first glance, this thing doesn't seem in too bad a shape, but when we look inside, you can see that because it's been sat for so long, it's just gone moldy inside, which is a real shame because it was actually a really comfortable car and it was actually quite nice to drive as well. The bodywork's not too bad. There's a few little patches of rust in the wheel arches, but other than that, like it's a pretty clean, tidy car. It is on quite high mileage though, about 130,000 miles, I think off the top of my head. But then it's had quite a lot of work done to it. I've done, like I mentioned already, the brake lines, which I did like the actual copper hard lines running from the ABS pump, you know, out to the front wheels. I replaced those for the MOT, which it then passed. Just before I did those, I think I did brakes all round on this thing. And it also had two front suspension arms with all new bushings in. It had two new rear anti-roll bar drop links, but they were in the boot when I bought it. But other than that, it's been pretty damn reliable. The only issue I've really had is that one of the coolant hoses kept popping off and then it was just dropping its coolant all over. Well, I'd like to say the road just down here, but the first time I was probably, I don't know, 100 miles away in Swansea. And the other time I was in Birmingham. But nevertheless, I think those issues are what caused this thing to overheat and blow its head gasket. The car's been sawn for a while, but I've just had an email this morning saying that the insurance has finally run out. So that's what's prompted me to make this video. The way I see it, I've got three options. The first option is that we strip out the interior, clean up all the mold, really give this thing a deep clean, fix the head gasket, and then get it back on the road and use it as my daily. That way we can free up some time on the Fiesta to do some more interesting modifications because the whole point of the Fiesta project isn't to be a daily driver. And some of the things I've got planned for it could mean that it's laid up for a little while and I need something reliable that I can take to work. Now I'm not totally sold on option one and that's because although, like I said, this car was reliable until the head gasket went, I didn't really have to put a lot of time, money or effort into it. It is an older car and it is on quite high mileage. So in terms of reliability, realistically, is it gonna remain that reliable for much longer, even if we do fix the head gasket? Especially because it's been laid up for so long now as well. Like there's the mold and everything, but you know, we could come into other problems with the brake season and stuff like that. So option two is that we still fix the Honda because that'll give some more content for the channel. Not that I'm struggling with the Fiesta by any means, but still we fix the Honda, document that, because I've never done a head gasket and I'd love to use that to learn. So we fix up the Honda, then we sell the Honda and get a new daily. Or option three is that we completely forget about the Honda, scrap that off and we fill this space here with my new daily so that we can go full steam ahead on the Fiesta. So this is where you guys come in. I want you to tell me in the comments below what you think I should do. Do we go with option one, option two or option three? I want you to let me know in the comments, but then I'm also gonna put a poll on my Instagram so that you can vote on there if you'd rather do it that way. But nevertheless, let me know what you think we should do and then hopefully we can make a decision on whether we fix the head gasket and film it, whether we're gonna keep the Honda as a daily or whether we're gonna get rid of it and get something different. So let me know what you wanna see and whatever it is that you wanna see, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do, otherwise you're gonna miss it. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.